Now let's talk about how you can move fast around the Excel using shortcuts. So one of the main shortcuts you're going to be using is the control and the arrows. So for example, if I wanted to go to the end of this table, I would use control and then the arrow to the right. If I want to go down, then control and down arrow, then left arrow and up arrow. So I can do a circles like this very fast without too much effort. The other thing I can do is go around the sheets fast. So for this, you press control and then page up or down to move around the file. So like this. This is down and then move up. As you can see, you can go fast through the whole form file without too much effort. And last but not least, I might be going from one file to another one. So for this, I would use the control tab. So this is the, as you can see, the full version, the nice looking. So marketing efficiency version two ready. And now we are in marketing efficiency version two empty. Looks different. And now let's go to the another one, which is the new, which we have opened in the previous step. You can also use the alt tab that shows you all the files. So here you can see all the files and I can pick to which one to go. So for example, I want to go to this one. So again, to the ready one. And another one, not that often used, but might make sense to know it for a bigger files. So you can use the control go and then you can tell him where he should go. So for example, we can tell him to go to T5. And as you can see, he went to the another set or we can tell him now to move to Y5000. And as you can see, he has moved there. So let's make a short recap. So first of all, the main shortcuts you will be using to go around is control and the arrows. So down, up, to the left and to the right. And the same goes for Mac. If you want to go to specific cell, then control go for the Windows and for the Mac. And then you put the exact address. So for example, as I have shown you, Y5000. And then he takes you to this specific cell. You can also go uh, to next Excel. So for this, you use control tab. Or you can open the view with all the files and move to the next one, which is alt tab. And it's actually uh, something I would use more often.